again today uh, while Trini went out to work um, the boys are out I'm home alone um, fasting is going to start up soon but why Trini he wanted he been saying oh I've been craving Kalalu with crap so I'm like up oh, let me surprise him today and make that for him so what you see right now is the pot on the stove getting hot I have some water in it but I already cleaned up the crab and I have it here. So I'm gonna season up the crab. So this is about uh, four pounds of crab that I seasoned up. You know, you cut off all the little ends, you scrub it. I do spritz just a little spray of bleach into the water, lime, <clears throat> a little vinegar into the water. So then I clean it up. So to this, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of, one and say one and a little bit of green seasoning. And this is consists of bandania, which is known as culantro, um, shadow bani, I have garlic, and I have hot pepper in that blended up. I'm gonna add some salt. And with all of my meats and seafood and everything, I like to use soy sauce and angostura bitters. So I'm gonna put a few dashes of our soy sauce, the chief brand garlic infused, and also some ginger infused. Right. And some Angostura bitters, because I just like that taste. And to me, it helps take out any kind of freshness or anything like that. Give this a nice little stir. Right. Check it out, nice and seasoned up. Right. So that's all that is to it with the crab. Now let me take you back to the pot. All right. In this pot, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. I already chopped up some celery, celery, carrots. I didn't have pumpkin, but I had sweet potato. I'm going to use that. Onion. I have some okra in here as well. And I have one Suriname hot pepper, uh, Madam Chen. So I'm going to dump all of this into this pot all right everything everybody gonna go in the pot dump that in all right i don't have dashing bush or i don't have um baji but i have frozen spinach right here frozen spinach i'm just gonna dump in Add the frozen spinach in. And everything is just going to boil together, infuse, marry, melt up, everything. So that's that. I know people probably make, you know, Kalalu all different ways. I know people put pumpkin. Um, they put... What else? They use different type of baji. There's some bush, I think they call Kalalu bush. People use that. I'll give this a little stew. All right. I do have one tin of coconut milk I'm going to add in later. And I do have some chicken stock. If I need to add some a little bit later, I could do that as well. So... To this, I'm just going to add some salt. All right? Nothing much. We could always taste and then adjust later. To also, to that, I'm going to add a pack of sazon. Right? Sa with coriander and anato. Anato is uku, what we call in Trinidad. Uku. 
So I'm gonna add that in. Right? And then give this a stir, and I'll come back and show you guys some more stuff. I just give this a nice little stir. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm actually gonna add the chicken stock in now. Because it's a lot of spinach in there. He said he's been craving this. He just wants to eat Kalaloo and Kalaloo alone. Like a soup. So let me see what you could do. So, oops, piece of paper for me. Pull him out. And then just let that boil simmer. I'm going to actually put the lid on it. When it comes to boiling, I'll knock it back and let it simmer. So don't go anywhere. It's a process. So let me recap what we just did. I added um, sweet potato, uh, onion, carrot, celery, okra, frozen spinach. I added one um, carton of chicken stock into there, some salt, a pack of sazon, um, and I think that's it. I'm gonna add some thyme in a little bit. I have to go look for it in the freezer. I'm gonna add that in and then let it simmer. So don't go too far. I'll show you guys the next steps, okay? All right, progress, progress. It's bubbling nice. I'm gonna just knock the heat back a little bit. Put the lid on it, this lid here. Crab is marinating nice and let it simmer. So, and then I'll add the milk, coconut milk in a little bit later. So that's my version. Well, one version of um, Kalalu. Also, I'm gonna add some um, Maggie crab flavor a little bit. I'll put that in as well. So I'm gonna add a pack of flavor to pot crab in here. Give this a nice little stir. Everything is coming together really nice. And also to this, I'm gonna add some of this thyme that we got from Priya and Farmer Sham when we visited them. So I'm gonna take some, just mash it up in my hand like this. And just drop it in. So there we have it. I'm gonna give that a nice stir, cover it and let it do its thing and we'll check on it in a little bit. All right guys, I open up the pot. I got my little doll with me here. I'm gonna start swizzling. Swizzling, swizzling, swizzling. It's coming along really good as you can see, nice creamy. I'm gonna drop in the coconut milk now. Let me swizzle it up. It's gonna make a nice pot for him. You say you're gonna eat it like soup. I don't know. All right, so one can. We'll swizzle. Swizzle, swizzle, swizzle. So this way, I'm not gonna use the electric blender on it. I'll just use this swizzle. So this will still have like some little chunks left. Chunks of the carrots, sweet potato. much of a smell because I have this head cold but I can still I smell something flavorful nice creamy swizzle 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 all right check it out nice and creamy coming together good so at this point I'm gonna swizzle a couple more minutes here just to make sure all the spinach is broken up and then I'm just gonna drop the crab in and cover it and let that simmer and cook nice check it out so if you don't have 
dashing bush or you don't have callaloo bush you can use spinach spinach is perfectly fine and you just add a you know to give that nice little gluey kind of texture tape you just add some okra mash and whatever the bottom i still see pieces chunks of the carrots just want to make sure the sweet potato just dissolves nice yeah. nice that's your chunky really nice and Incorporated, just seeing pieces of the carrots and stuff, that's just fine. I was going to make some red beans, but I wouldn't do that. This is good. All right, so let's go ahead and add in the crab. All that season was in, right? All right. Check that out, guys. Nice crab in there. Give it a nice little stew. Mm. Oh, yes, I can smell that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer and cook with all that goodness, and then you'll see why Trini will give you his results. All right, guys, so thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna add in Golden Ray, just quarter, um, what's that, probably like. A teaspoon is melted, teaspoon of the golden ray butter. Alright. Good stuff. Can't wait for it to come home and try this. So, I just got home and Shy Girl cooked up a little something for me. I've been asking for it for a long time. I've been craving it, guys. So you're gonna see in a few moments, I'm gonna meal up some good old goodness. So stay tuned. Check it out, guys. Look what Shy Girl made me. Kalaloo and crab and rice. I've been craving, craving Kalaloo for like a long time. I've been wanting it really bad and we've had plenty of crab to go with it, so um, here we go. I'm about to dig in. This looks wonderful, smells wonderful. When I walked in the house, I could smell the crab and I was like, uh-oh. So I had a feeling that's what she made and sure enough, she made it. So here we go. First, I'm gonna have a little bit of the kalu with rice, right? And I'm gonna dig in with the crab. Here we go. Yo, hands down, that galu is fire. Right off the bat, I get so much flavor. It just like hit my taste buds and there's really nice pepper. And surprisingly, the pepper is not super hot and it's not mild. It's just, it's just right, it's just perfect. Wow, that really hits you in the taste buds. Wow, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in the crab. Guys, one of my favorite parts actually for the longest on the crab was the claws because there's you know big chunks of meat but i really love the cartilage part there's so much meat in there and so many people waste that part and there's so much meat in there i love it i'm just literally gonna you know chuck that leg to the side and go right into the cartilage here mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. <clears throat> the 
pepper hit me there or something, guys. Really nice. Wow, I got a mouthful here, but there's so much juice in the cartilage, right? Amazing, amazing. There's so much meat in here. I got to sit there and chew it up. But guys, this meal is fantastic, wonderful. Shy girl, she outdid herself. Amazing. So much flavor. You know what, guys? You know what time it is. Finger licking good. Time to wine. The wine, show them how to wine. I'll pickle them wine. Wine and a wine, 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 wine. Let's show them how to wine. Take a wine, take a wine, take. Boom. Man, shy girl. Wow. Food's amazing, guys. I'm going to meal this up. I'm going to enjoy this, guys. I'm going to say thanks for joining us. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. We love you. And shy girl, I love you. Take care. Peace.